All right, today we're going to actually show you how to recreate one of my favorite Instagram photographers, Kai Bo. I don't know how to say his last name because it's German, but either way, he is by far one of my favorites. He's super talented. As you can see, he clearly focuses on portraits and a lot of his shots are very urban all around the city. There's a couple outdoor ones. And what I really like is he actually shows his before and afters a lot on his Instagram, which is really cool from a f photography perspective or someone who really likes photography, being able to see what he did to the image. It's awesome. Um, yeah, let's get started. So this is what I have. I'm going to show you guys how to recreate that. Uh, Kai's images are very focused on the blue. Uh, portrait focused. Typically his his subject usually looks is, is facing him or right towards him. So the pose isn't exactly what he would normally do or the location, but I'm confident that we can recreate it and show you guys some cool tips to get shots like Kai. Let's hit reset. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is adjust for the exposure because I want the sky to be exposed as well as her at the same time. So I'm going to bring up the shadows and the blacks. And then to contrast that, I will bring down the exposure. Yeah, now the whole image looks very properly exposed. I'm going to bump down the highlights so you can see the full length of the clouds. But as you can see, this photo looks super flat and boring. So we're going to bump up the whites, bring back some more vibrance in it. See that? See? Look at the difference we've already made. Um, I'm also going to bump the temperature of the blues because as you can see a lot of this photos are on the colder the colder side minus a couple from the sun um, Yeah, that looks about right But the clarity because his photo photos are very focused on the face so typically a lot of uh, his shots are very sharp when you're looking at the person's face or the, the subjects face now I'm going to go to color profiles. Color profiles is one of the most valuable things, especially in the update, what they've done. There's so many more options now. I'm going to click Adobe Vivid for this one. And it just gives you so much more length and range for colors. And initially you're going to think, well, I can adjust the colors, you know, in, in here. I can adjust them here. There's also down here. I can adjust them here where the color calibration is, but actually it's a lot better to start with color profiles before I start messing with the colors in light because it's basically like the preset of what the blue is going to look like, what the teal is going to look like, green, red, yellow, etc. I always hit these two too to just make sure my lens caught it properly and it tells you what lens you shot with. And then I'm going to come into curves. What a beautiful day. We got very lucky with the clouds when I was shooting this. It's already looking pretty good. Um, keep adjusting some stuff. So then you can come into here and get a specific color and saturate it, or you can desaturate it. But overall, it gives you more, more range of color too. Make it look stormy. Stormy day, it'll help make her stand out too. Maybe we'll adjust the greens. So now I click the greens, go and adjust the specific color to get this background. yellows because there's also a lot of yellow in there too. I can desaturate it, bump it more to the green side. Let's bump it more to the green side. Brighten it, saturate it a little. Maybe desaturate a little. I'll take that back. But overall, that looks pretty good. And I'd say roughly that's how you get a Kai shot. But as you can see, he really focuses on reflections 
and typically his his portrait and his his subject is always looking at him. So if you want to recreate images exactly like his, I would copy similar poses that he does too, and similar locations. Because as you can see, he he's really never shot in a location like this. But in terms of editing, this is pretty much how he edits his photos. He's a very talented artist. Go check out his Instagram, look at his before and afters. And I hope you like the video. I'll keep making more tutorials if you like this. And please check out my photography, my YouTube. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to hear from me. Let me know what you want to shoot. Because I love just seeing other talented photographers, learning from them, shooting like them, and then mixing their style. Please like and subscribe this video and share it because I got to eat. <laughs> Thank you so much.